Hello, today I'm going to explain you actual start and actual finish date and how can you put it as a, a task progress tracking. I have re one task, phase one design, six days, John is assigned to it. And I showed you in my previous, my last video, that I can go to task, to mark on track, and update task. So what can I do here? Once again, if I put that two days is actual duration, which means how much work is done, how much day were spent, and put eight days as remaining duration, the total duration here six will be extended to 10 days, actual duration will be two days, and remaining duration will be eight days. But Start date, which is 3rd of October, remains the same. Okay, here, again, here it is. 10 days is duration. Let me put here percentage of complete. Let me put here actual, star, actual uh, duration. Let me put here remaining duration. Okay, you see now the total duration is 10 days and the percentage complete is 20%. But this, this all was explained in my previous video. What I want to say is that start date remains the same. Now, let me go here and let me go back and put here that it is six days. So I undo, I undo the changes and I put Six, uh, six days back here. So once again, let me put here percentage comp of completeness, actual duration, remaining duration. Okay, now let's say that actual duration is two days, remaining duration is eight days, but instead of 3rd of October, my task was started at 5th of October. So to do that, I should go back to task tab, mark on track, update task, and I will put actual duration is two days, remaining duration is eight days, and start date is not Monday 3rd of October, but it is Wednesday, okay, 5th of October, okay? What will happen? Total duration will be 10 days, actual duration will be 2 days, remaining duration will be 8 days, percentage of complete will be 20%, but the start date will be changed to 5th of October. And if I hit on OK, you can see that I uh, didn't only change the total duration by putting two days in actual duration and eight in remaining duration, but also I changed the start date because I put it here, I put here really the, the real start date. So if you don't put anything in start date, so like, let me undo here, okay? If you don't put anything in start date, start date remains the same. So if I put here two, and eight, it means task, task is started as it, suppose, it, it was supposed to start at 3rd of October, and the actual duration is two and remaining eight. But if I put different date than current start date, which is planned, it is 3rd of October, I will get the result which I showed you uh, in my example. So actual duration is two days, remaining duration is eight days, total duration is 10 days, uh, percentage complete is 20%, two days uh, divided by total duration, which is 10, which makes 20%, uh, but actual start is changed here. Okay, now undo. Let's say if I go here, and I put, for example, here that it percentage of complete is 20%. And I put actual duration is 10 days and your remaining duration is 90 days. And I 
put. So you can see, if actual duration is 10 days and remaining duration is 90 days, obviously the total duration will be 100 days and percentage of completeness will be calculated. But why, I, why am I doing this? I want to uh, show you what happens with uh, finish date. If I put, for example, that start date was at 5th of October and finish date was at, let's say, 7th of October, if I click on OK, Microsoft Project will disregard whatever was here, whatever was entered in percentage complete, in actual duration, and in remaining duration. First of all, it will calculate the total duration according to, to those two days, Friday 7th of October minus Wednesday 5th of October. Okay, taking in, uh, in consideration if there is weekend or non-working days here, but in my simple example, this will result in two days. So when I hit OK, you will see that actual duration is five days, remaining uh, 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 actual start is for uh, 5th of October, sorry, F actual finish is 7th of October, and the total duration is three days. Percentage of complete is 100% and actual duration is same as a duration. Why is that? Because if you put here start date, for example, or you don't have to put it, let's say that start date remains uh, 3rd of October, and I say, okay, but finish date is, okay, let's say 5th of October, Microsoft Project will, say, will, will calculate, okay, start date is not available, so no one put start date exact here, I will take this one. Finish date is 5th of October. So 5th of October is Wednesday, so the total duration is three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and since, now remember that, since you put finish date here, no matter if you put that only 1% is, or 10% is finished, it will be disregarded, because when you put finish date, it means when the task is actually finished. And if the task is actually finished, it cannot have no, nothing than 100% of completeness. Why? Because it is finished. So when you put finish date, be aware that you are determined when the task is done. Done means 100%. And the cal cal uh, calculation day will be 5th of October minus 3rd of October, and it will say, okay, 3rd of October, 5th of October. Three days actual duration, okay, three days total duration, and uh, percentage of complete is 100%. So, if you want to mark a task, like in my second example here, that it started lately, so it is late. You should change the start date. So let's say it was not started at 6th of October, but it was started at 10th of October. And if you want to uh, 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 put values, but the task is not finished yet, do not put anything in finish date. Instead of that, let's say I actually worked four days, everyone actually worked four days, remaining duration is one day, so it will be calculated and the task will result when I hit on OK that it was started on 10th of October instead of, instead of 6th of October, that actually it was worked four days and remaining duration is one day, so total duration is five days. And why one day? which is remaining duration, uh, actual duration, four days, 
uh, uh, divided by total duration, which will, uh, which will result, uh, result in five days, will be 80%. So I change the start date, I change actual duration, remaining duration, and the total percentage of complete is calculated like actual duration divided by uh, 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 total duration here. Now, if I say, okay, I'm going to, but it was started at 10th. Actual duration, we worked four days, remaining duration one day. But if I go here and say, but well, actually, my task was finished at the same day it was started, 10th of, uh, 10th of October, no matter that I previously put actual duration four days and remaining uh, uh, one, uh, duration one day, it will be overwritten because it, uh, the total duration uh, will be calculated by finish minus start, minus start of course, uh, taking in consideration how my, uh, many weekends are between those two days and non-working days. But in my example, when I hit on OK, you will see one day, so there is no four days, five days actual duration. Actual duration and duration are same, and the percentage of complete is 100%. So be very careful when you put actual uh, start and actual finish, because the total duration will be calculated uh, according to those two dates put it in those two fields. I hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you soon.